Welcome back to Lab People Stadium here in Mobile, Alabama. We are on day three of the Senior Bowl. Of course, the news of today, Alfred Morris of uh, Florida Atlantic and formerly of Pine Forest High School in Pensacola, he has been added to the roster. He showed up, I guess, early or late last night, early this morning. And, uh, you know, obviously kind of, you know, getting his feet wet early on. But, uh, but you know, still, he's here uh, after playing in the East-West Shrine game last week. So he'll get another chance to kind of impress his scouts. We know Brady got here, got the phone call last night. He was in Bradenton training at the IMG Academy. He got a phone call from his agent at 9 o'clock. They said, get on a plane first thing in the morning, get to Mobile. He was stunned and excited, and then, you know, they throw a playbook at him. They give him a uniform. They say, Gonna get on out there. And as I talked to Zach Crockett, the, the former Florida State running back who played at the Oakland, with the Oakland Raiders for so long, now scout with the Oakland Raiders, he said, hey, you know, when you're a football player, these kind of things, this opportunity comes around. You just get out there and show your stuff. He likes, he likes Alfred Morris a lot. He thinks that, you know, the big back. And Alfred showed some things today, catching the ball out of the backfield, which is what he's got to do if he wants to you know, get get noticed for the NFL scouts. I thought that was a big part of today. You know, obviously pass blocking and everything else, it's tough. I mean, you don't know everything and you're thrown out there, but what an opportunity for Alfred Morris and, and this and this game. And, it, you know, here's what we talked to Alfred after practice. Here's what we had to say about being in this game. Um, how I can catch on pretty fast, you know, with the playbook. I can um, get the concepts and schemes down. And plus uh, my versatility, you know, they actually got me at fullback here. And they said they're going to work me in as some running back. So I'm excited uh, about it. You know, even though I'm be playing a little bit out of position, I'm not worried about it. Um, make sure, you know, I secure the ball, you know, look it in um, when it comes to passing. Um, uh, that and uh, perfecting my, my pass blocking. All right, so tomorrow's day four, Thursday practice. is uh, It's not as intense as the last two days. Obviously, it's going to be more of a special teams kind of practice and, uh, and, and showing up some things. But it's one more chance, pretty much the last chance, for these guys to kind of impress the NFL scouts because Friday's a walkthrough. Uh, so this is really the last chance in some of those one-on-one -on -one drills to kind of show their stuff. Yeah, and Brady, the crowd's already thinned out today. And tomorrow, like I said, like you said, it's just a it's just a glorified special teams. The weather permitting, they'll go back out here today tomorrow for the final time before a little bit of a walk through Friday. A couple guys that have impressed if people want to know. Chris Rainey, the running back of Florida, has had an excellent week. So has Janoris Jenkins, the former cornerback for the Florida Gators. So those two people right off the bat have stuck out. And there will be some several more that we might we'll probably talk about tomorrow. Yeah, and Rainey's working as a wide receiver so it'll be interesting to see how he does in the game on Saturday but we'll be back tomorrow to recap day four and again we'll be here uh, you know the rest of the week including Saturday for the Senior Bowl.